As 2023 began, ISRA UK was delivering winter aid directly to disadvantaged families in Lebanon, Kashmir and Pakistan as temperatures plunged throughout South and East Asia. During this time, we also continued our work with victims of the Pakistan floods from the previous year. With support from retailer Morrisons in the UK, their staff helped us raise vital funds to build brand new homes for homeless families in the Sindh region of the country. Additionally, thanks to your fundraising, we supplied 60 wheelchairs to individuals with mobility issues and distributed ample food packs across several villages which were damaged by floodwaters. Scenes of devastation unfolding right now in Turkey and Syria after what's being called one of the most powerful earthquakes to hit the region in a century. As February began, a devastating magnitude 7.8 earthquake impacted southern Turkey near the northern border of Syria, the deadliest worldwide since 2010, affecting an estimated 14 million people, leaving 1.5 million people homeless and in its wake leaving over 59,000 people dead across both countries. As an international charity, our team sprang into action not only to raise much needed funds for those affected, but to collect essential items, warm clothes and blankets to send to individuals and families who had lost their homes and belongings and had been sheltering in refugee camps and temporary accommodation. Thanks to the immensely generous donations from the public, you all helped us fill two 20-ton aid containers which were kindly co-transported to southern Turkey by Turkish Airlines. This action was complemented by your financial contributions of over £100,000, which helped assist thousands of survivors in the region, many of whom have been or are in the process of being rehoused. During Ramadan in March and April, you helped us share the blessings through your Zakat and Sadaqah as we embarked on our annual campaign of feeding those in need from Afghanistan, Kashmir and Pakistan, to Yemen, Palestine, Lebanon and East Africa. During May, local partners helped us load a freight container with essential and much needed health equipment donated by British medical centres to be transported to the district of Jinja in Uganda. Thanks to your ongoing support, we were able to wave off this enormous shipment as it made its four-month journey to the African nation. In June, we deployed our first ever all-women's group of fundraising donors and volunteers to the cities of Shanliurfa and Osmania in southern Turkey to help the victims of the recent regional earthquake. With a strong focus on women's hygiene and sanitary items, you helped us distribute care packs, zakat contribution, toys for children to celebrate Eid, and food for families residing in refugee camps near the Syrian border. We welcomed hundreds of you to our Eid Family Fun Day in Birmingham in July showcasing an array of gifts, food, clothes, sweet delicacies and attractions, all raising money for Sadaqah contributions towards ISRA UK's work nationally and across the globe. Alhamdulillah, in August, we committed our efforts to a six-month malnutrition programme in Thais in Yemen focusing on alleviating food shortages and improving the health and well-being of malnourished children and adults in the city. In September, we worked with partners once again in Shanliurfa to assess a rehabilitation centre for disabled children, including victims of the Syrian war, continuing our tradition of permanently improving the lives of those affected by trauma and hardship. Whilst our team was in Turkey, we received news that a 6.8 magnitude earthquake had struck Morocco's Marrakesh Safi region and immediately offered support to relief teams in the area. Thanks to you, we were able to deliver essential aid where it was needed most. In October, 
We dispatched a delegation to assist with the implementation of a special polio vaccination programme for isolated communities across Kampala and Mubende in East Uganda. Over the course of one week, we worked with local partners to oversee the inoculation of over 2,500 people in rural villages. For a mere one pound per person, your donations helped us immunise and protect children and adults against the spread of viruses and diseases that destroy immune systems and ruin lives. As part of the immunisation drive, health teams will also continue to provide HIV treatments, malaria resistance, diabetes awareness and anti and postnatal care. Additionally, in the city of Jinja, we began work to restore an Islamic health centre's only ambulance which had been stolen, worn down and out of action for several years. During the same month, a military offensive was launched on the Gaza Strip in Palestine, unleashing death and destruction on the two million strong population of the territory. Having worked in the region for almost four decades, ISRA UK was well placed to join the international humanitarian response to the emergency. Following a call to our donors, you all helped us deliver urgently required medical disposal, as well as water, sanitary and hygiene kits. On the ground in Gaza, our teams have spent months preparing and providing food packs and hot meals for the displaced victims of the bombardment. Whilst the Gaza Emergency Appeal is at the forefront of our current campaigns, we remain committed to our work in other parts of the world. And in November, we devoted fresh funding towards crucial cataract operations in Kashmir. Your donations also continue to implement HIFS programs and MOS provisions in the region. And your zakat is vital to our projects, working with orphans and widows in the state. During our latest visit to Neelam, we reviewed over 3,000 trees that have been planted as part of Kashmir's walnut harvest, all made possible through your donations over the last three years. As the Israeli incursion entered its third month in December, we launched an Egypt to Gaza convoy appeal to ensure delivery of three truckloads of bedding, clothes, flour and food packs through the Rafa border ahead of the temperature drop in Palestine. Being delivered into Gaza by the United Nations on our behalf, these emergency supplies are a drop in the ocean compared to demand, so we hope that you can continue to contribute funds to help alleviate the suffering and struggles of the Palestinian people during the winter period. For ISRA UK, the last 12 months have been more intense than any of the years before with multiple disasters impacting key regions in or around areas we carry out relief work. As we approach our 40th year as a charitable organisation assisting the most vulnerable and marginalised, we hope you will continue to join us in supporting our ongoing projects as well as our emergency campaigns. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of our donors, partners, staff and volunteers who make what we do possible and help us all make the world a safer and better place. Jazakallah khairun wassalamu alaikum.